So we're headed to Deaver Reservoir, December 14th, 2018. Got the trailer in tow. Hopefully we'll get some tip-ups going off tonight. So we just showed up on Deaver Reservoir. Ice is about six to eight inches, so we just backed the trailer on the ice. Nothing fancy, just so we can drop it and walk out the front door to check our tip-ups. So when I drill my holes for a tip-up, I generally just kick the snow away. Then I take this fancy tool here, made my by, by my buddies over at Deep Freeze, and it just does a great job. I've got one of these for my 10 inch too, and boy, I just enjoy them. It pretty much, I think they call it a one shot skimmer, and it pretty much is about all it takes to clear that hole. So that's how we roll, We're just on to the next hole. Does a good job. We're actually gonna be using another, some of their products tonight. There's some tip up alarms that go on Bluetooth and they're called blue tips. And I've got a dozen of those and they are sure fun to use. You can just be sitting in the ice house watching a movie and uh, alarm comes on your phone when you get a flag and you race out the door. So, good company. I've talked to the guy a couple times about a few different things and he's always been good to me. So here's our minnow bucket. Thought I had a better dipper than this, but that's okay. Rather than haul the whole thing out onto the water. I'll just throw a few in a cup here. So we'll wander out to our tip-ups. And I always set the farthest tip up first. Generally these walleye I have found hit further out in the deep earlier on and then as the night progresses you'll find them coming shallower. Like everything else in my life I have to learn the hard way. I have bought just about every tip up known to man. And I should have just started with these beaver dams. They're a hard pill to swallow financially, but once I got the beaver dams, I refuse to use anything else personally. They just they just work. Generally all I do is run a circle hook with a little bead on top of it. Nothing fancy. About a foot above that quarter ounce uh, split shot and uh, nothing nothing fancy so that's a pretty simple rig I found I do better on circle hooks I used to use uh, treble hooks and I had a lot of missed fish but it's probably just the fisherman if you know what I mean so we got the minnow swimming in his little hole there and neglected to say we're already icing up on our holes there a little bit I always use these hole covers and I don't just use them because of the temperature I also use them to make sure on a shallow clear lake like I'm on that it cuts the sunlight coming in through the hole so it's not unnatural when I thread that minnow I just go right over the top of the dorsal it's a good thing having your tip ups all set up now we're officially fishing
So we got two flags pop. I don't see that either one of them are spinning. This one's been tipped first. Okay, there she spins. I would imagine these are the same fish, but I'm not for sure. Okay. So there's fish number one, a dink walleye. Better than getting skunked any day of the week. So let's go check this other one. That's kind of weird, they pop at the same time. I thought for sure that other fish would have uh, tangled me up or something. I don't see this one spinning. Oh yeah, there's a fish on it. He's got the uh, tip up going to the edge of the hole. Oh, I think I missed him. I think I missed him there, guys. Screwed up. He got my bait. So, anyways, we'll go release that other one and put some new minnows on. So it's official. We're in it to win it. Just made up the bed. Gonna hang out. Put on my pajamas here in a little bit and just chill out. Now that we got the tunes going, the bed made. We'll throw the TV on. Hopefully there's some good sports on. If not, we'll throw on a movie. Just kind of hang out in here and watch the tip-ups outside. Here in a minute, I'll go throw those Bluetooths on. Those are blue tips. So we can tie it into the phone and really chill. So just noticed we had a flag just barely after I finished the last one. We'll watch it for a minute. I'm not convinced yet. No, I don't think we got a fish. That, that's a lively minnow is what we've got there. Lively minnow. I can't believe a little minnow like that could trip at. But he sure sure did. So here's the Blue Tips brand tip-up alarms. When they tip up, of course, they'll start flashing the light there. And here in a minute, we'll tie them to the cell phone. Same two flags have popped. She's not spinning. I'm gonna go to this furthest one this time. It's not spinning either. I can feel the minnow. It's to the side of the hole. He might have got tangled in the weeds there. No fish though. Might have just been toying with it. I probably should have waited a little bit. Those minnows might just be lively. I've got these set on a real ultralight setting. So now we'll give this one a look. See, see what we see here. Still not spinning. Well, there's a little weight on it. Oh yeah. See if we can get him. There we go. Got a fish coming up. Probably another dink. They must have stocked this with dinks this year. So yeah, there's, ouch, another little walleye. We'll go ahead and let him go. So yeah, good deal. So we've got the Blue Tips app tuned into our, our stuff here. And, uh, Looks like we just got one on number four. Let's go check it out. That's in tribute to Richard Dream, the fishing machine right there. Oh, she's a spinning good. That's what we like to see. Although he could get tied up in the weeds. So yeah, sometimes when you get close to these bad boys, it's spinning pretty good. See if we can settle him down.
Hopefully he hasn't taken out too much line. Oh yeah, that's a lot. A little more weight to that one, I think. Don't quote me yet. Eh, and I'm wrong. They must have little dink planters in here this year. But you know what? That's okay. We'll put them back and they'll grow bigger next year. So, nice little pretty walleye from Wyoming. So that's not a bad thing. Three fish already. They're all out deep on tip-ups four, five, and six. And uh, that'll keep a fat guy busy. Hopefully they'll continue to do that throughout the night and maybe even get a little bigger. Starting to wish that we would have got a little bit bigger minnows. You guys might not be cutting it as far as As far as feeding these walleye, these little baby walleye eat you up. They're like french fries to them. Got another one on tip up number four. We'll go check it out. Yeah, there she is. I don't see it spinning. Now the line's getting pulled to the side of the hole again. I think that might have been a, yeah, I can see him. Lively minnow, but he, so lively, he pulled some, pulled some line off, maybe. I'll bet a fish got it. I'm gonna put it on a little bit. Yeah, I'll just leave it how it is, it's fine. I'm gonna put it on a lighter setting, or a heavier setting, but I'm not too worried about it. Good exercise. Well, things are getting serious now. Breaking out the chips and salsa. And over here, preheating the oven for some good old chocolate chip cookies. So I got some frozen water. So I just took a knife to it and pretty soon we're gonna have some melted water. And there you have it. Won't be long. <laughs> we'll be cooking some hot dogs. Here we go, we got one. So this is a little shallower, I don't know shallower, but closer to shore. Number three, no spin. So let's check it out. I can feel him. Oh yeah, that's a good deal. Ah, they're getting a little bit nicer. That one might be 10 inches if he's lucky. <laughs> they're getting a little nicer. Anyhow, we'll put him back. Yeah, number five went off. Let's go check it. It's spinning. Good deal. Ooh, he didn't like me walking by him. <laughs> Boy, folks, look at that spinning. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's see if we can land him. Either that's a better fish or he's all tangled in the weeds. I'm thinking a little of both. I'm thinking he's tangled in the salad, big time. Oh, is he ever tangled in the salad? Look at that, guys. <laughs> Taking half the lake with us. Too funny. I think somewhere, somewhere in there is a fish. You can kind of see him. Grab a thing here and I'll kneel on it. Since I fish in my basketball shorts. Where are you at, bud? Boy, just another dink. It'll have to go back. But boy, did he bring up the salad. <laughs> we are going to be eating salad tonight. What a mess this guy made. 
So I will get this mess picked up and see if we can get another minnow on, or two minnows now. So we finally got that solid mess cleaned up and we are gonna hopefully not come back to burnt cookies. I'm sure they're ready. So we'll kick that to, back to pilot. Open that bad boy up. Ooh, they're looking pretty good. Grab a hot pad. Ooh, they're looking pretty good. So we got one right here on the first tip up out. Just right by the trailer. Sit, she's a flashing, so this is a good thing. No spin yet. The line is pulled to the side, so we shall see. Feels like just a minnow. So, false alarm, I think. Oh, no, no, let's see. I think I'm playing with a walleye here. He's still, he's still playing with me. Oh yeah, I can see the fish. Good deal, he's got him in his mouth. Oh no, <laughs> I saw the walleye, but he looked at, he spit it out. Just as well, because it was a tiny one. So we'll go ahead and reel that tip up back up real quick. And give it back to him. See if he could, maybe we'll give him a little more time next time. So we got the dogs on the stove, got them frying up. I like to boil them and then I throw them on the stove. The so life is good again. So we got number two just went off. Oh, she's a spinning, she's a spinning folks. There we go. Oh man, it's spinning good. <laughs> okay, don't get tangled up in the weeds. Don't want to spin that much, buddy. My goodness, that's spinning. All right. Another dink, probably, but it feels like a little bit of weight, but probably the weeds. Uh oh. I thought I lost him. I'm still feeling something. Boy, he took out a lot of line. That guy did. Oh, that's a nicer fish. Finally got a keeper. Nice. Oh. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. There you go. That's better fish. If we can get a couple more of those, we'll be done for the night. Good deal. Ha. So just as I'm trying to reel that other line in, this guy popped. I heard the spring. Line's straight down, so it's probably not a fish. But boy, that was exciting. Not a fish. But that's kind of fun to just hear the spring when I was out here doing the other one. So I'm texting my wife, and blue tips number three popped up right when I was texting. Those blue tips are nice. I mean, it's been a crazy night for fishing. So let's see if we're turning. So number three, that's halfway out. It's not spinning yet. Hey, fishy, fishy, I'm here. Let's see what he's doing here. Starting to spin, starting to spin. Favorite part of tip up fishing right there. Watching that spin. <laughs> so I'm gonna give him a little slack, turn it with him. I'm gonna pull that out. Flip it over, get these. Oh yeah, he's pulling away from that hole. 
Feel the weight a little bit. He's still nibbling. Ah, he's just probably a little one. He just hit it pretty good. There he goes. There we go. We got him. Oh, just a dink. Absolute dink. Oh well. <laughs> it's all fun. It's all fun and games. All fun and games. So he's got that metal in his mouth. We'll pull it out. We try to take real good care of these when we release them because you don't want to rip their gills out. Look at that, I get my minnow back. Go back to your older brother, as the Three Stooges so famously said. Get, get a little bigger. Roscoe P. Coltrane. <clears throat> Gonna go get them Duke boys. Yeah. Got a little spin to it, kind of a little jar when I Another little dink. Another little dink. I can't believe these fish. This is getting ridiculous. Fun, but my goodness. Tiny, tiny. So we had a few flags pop last night, but not near as fast fishing as we had before my buddy Johnny got here. I wish he could have been here when the flags were popping. He would have had a really fun time. But he was able to catch a walleye and a rainbow trout, nice rainbow trout, probably four or five pounder. So that was fun for him. So we're getting breakfast going. Johnny's been getting cranky, so we're gonna feed him. I've been getting cranky, cuz. Oh man. I didn't catch another fish for like hours. <laughs> it's been tough. I, I told the folks I wish that you would have been here sooner, but guys got I honestly thought that ice fishing was the same behavior as when you're regular fishing, you know, doing normal temperatures. Yeah. And it ain't that way. No, they behave the a lot different. fish have totally different behavior, and that's pretty interesting considering, you know, that uh, uh, both the trout and walleye are active in really cold water, so they really behave differently. Ice fishing is, uh, uh, you've got to have more patience than you normally have for fishing. you got to have, <laughs> you have a lot of patience for fishing, but you got to have like 10 times more patience. For, for fishing through the uh, You just gotta wear your slippers and put on your pajamas. <laughs> Take it easy. Joe's saying that because he's all chilling oh, over man. here. Yeah, Put buddy. Movies, cowboy movies on. Yeah, we've been watching Clint Eastwood all night. <laughs> Good stuff. So just wrapping up the Deaver trip. Just said goodbye to my buddy Johnny. We had a good time, watched a lot of good movies, ate a lot of good food. He brought me some root beer and cookies, which I really needed. Yeah, right. So thanks for that. Anyhow, had a good night. I wish he would have. I wish Johnny would have been here earlier on in the evening, cause boy, it was doing really well, and it just kind of shut off. But that's fishing. That's why they call it fishing and not catching. Yeah, I'm glad you're a fisher, dude, because. Without it, walleye would not be my favorite food besides chocolate chips. <laughs> it's good. These kids are liking these fish. Yep.
Thanks, Nisha. Yep. Thanks, Jack.